covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. A team of University College London engineers have set a new world record internet speed and you won't believe how fast it is. They've been able to achieve internet transmission speed a fifth faster than the previous record. The, the research team, led by Dr. Lydia Galdino, achieved a data transmission rate of 178 terabits a second. That's 178 million megabits a second. Compare that to the 50 megabits you're getting at home. At 178 terabits per second, it would be possible to download the entire Netflix library in less than a second. The record, which is double the capacity of any system currently in use worldwide, was achieved by transmitting data through a much wider range of colors of light, or wavelengths, than is typically used in optical fiber. Current infrastructure uses a limited spectrum bandwidth of 4.5 terahertz, with 9 terahertz commercial bandwidth systems entering the market, whereas the researchers used a bandwidth of 16.8 terahertz. To do this, researchers combined different amplifier technologies needed to boost the signal power over the wider bandwidth and maximize speed by developing new patterns of signal combinations that make best use of the phase, brightness, and polarization properties of the light. In this way, they were able to manipulate the properties of each individual wavelength. A huge benefit of the technique is that it can be deployed on already existing infrastructure by simply upgrading the amplifiers that are located on optical fiber routes at 40 to 100 kilometer intervals. It would be shockingly cheap to perform such an upgrade. Upgrading an amplifier would cost around $21,000 or about $420 per kilometer if we upgraded every 50 kilometers. Compare that to installing new optical fibers, which can, in urban areas, cost up to three-fourths of a million dollars per kilometer. Lead author Dr. Gal Dino, a lecturer at UCL and a Royal Academy of Engineering Research Fellow, said, While current state-of-the-art cloud data center interconnections are capable of transporting up to 35 terabits a second, we are working with new technologies that utilize more efficiently the existing infrastructure, making better use of optical fiber bandwidth and enabling a world record transmission rate of 178 terabits a second. The speed achieved is close to the theoretical limit of data transmission set out by American mathematician Claude Shannon in 1949. I want that bandwidth. Right? Install that at my studio. You know, it, it was, it's, <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, I mean, there's two things that kind of jumped out at me about this story. The first one, uh, what Becca was kind of getting to about um, $24,000, I think, for 50 kilometers or per kilometer, whatever it was, um, to, to do the upgrade. The math was there. Yeah, it was there. We've butchered it so far. Uh, but That's right. But significantly <laughs> cheaper significant. to make this upgrade than to lay new fiber. Well, yeah. And so interestingly enough, uh, this summer, or I guess this spring, when, when COVID kind of brought the world to its knees, uh, at our my church, we were looking to stream uh, once we started getting back into the building. Mm -hmm. We had really slow internet, like half meg upload. Ouch. Yeah, right? So we reached out to different ISPs and we said, okay, what would it take to run, you know, First, we looked into fiber, then we looked into DSL, then we looked into cable, the one kilometer, actually, I think it's 0.8 kilometers from the junction box at the corner mm -hmm. to where our property line was. Mm -hmm. And every quote we got was six figures or more. Yeah. And I'm like, we're talking a kilometer. Mm -hmm. And then I'm hearing this and I'm like, this is amazing. But at the same time, the fact that it's utilizing light and I mean, here we are yeah. in a studio with light bulbs all around us. Mm -hmm. Now they're all LED, so that's not quite the same thing, but how neat would it be if this technology could be advanced to the point where we're getting our internet off a light bulb? If it's, <laughs> if it's through, <laughs> like, how neat would that be? Like, it's slow? gotta be a little more refined than that. I, I mean, fiber optics are- I, I agree, but you look at where the internet was 25 yeah, years ago. Yeah. Like imagine 15 years from now, you flick on a light and boom. <laughs> like how oh, Jeff, your predicament that you have at your church or that you had, uh, presumably you found a solution at least we to get you by. LTE. Oh, okay. So you're wireless. Yeah. So you're getting about 20 megs per second. Uh, 20 up, 45 down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's not bad. That's no. pretty good. No, we but could expensive. stream and that's good. Expensive. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cheaper 
this is just a crazy thought, but buy the property on the corner that's near the junction box. Buy the property and have them run a six foot length from the junction box to a little <laughs> tiny tower and put a ubiquity antenna on that that is pointed at your church that has like air fiber, you know what which is like gigabit a second. You know what's funny? We, ha we actually have our sign there that we rent from the person who owns the property. So put a little ubiquity antenna on top of your sign, connect it to the fiber, and you'd have to have like some kind of a box that powers everything yeah. and, and keeps it secure from... It's, it's got a powered light anyway. Well, there you go. <laughs> So now put it, so then that. beam that, beam that to your church. You can get gigabit per second internet for the cost of huh. a six foot length of fiber run. I actually think the box is like a foot from the pole. Well, there you go. That's your answer. Where were you <laughs> six months ago? No, no, nobody asked me. I mean, this is just what came to me just now. But.